Hello, Internet! I'm Elliot the Purple Ardufus, and welcome to Buddy Reads, where I read a small selection of a book and review it for you. Today we are covering issue number 18 of Fables by Bill Willingham. I hope you've read that issue yourself, because I do not want to ruin anything for you. Now, remember where the last issue left off? You know, you had Snow pregnant with Big B's baby, she was mad at Big B, you had Prince Charming taking over the government, and it was just like, all building up to this like, great, great cliffhanger, right? Right? Well, 18's, 18's gonna piss you off, because 18 is a standalone story. 18 has nothing to do with all of that. 18 is just... Ah! Uh, why? Why is this a thing that exists? It's just like what they did with Lucifer. <laughs> Before the, the winter hiatus, they left you on a massive cliffhanger, revealing the Sinner Man, and then you come back and it's a standalone story, and I'm just like, why? Let's tell the standalone story. It starts in this area of the Fable Town building that houses all of the magic stuff from Fables, the Fables world. And there's a little Lilliputian, and he is trying to sneak in and steal something. And he's like, ha ha ha, those fools! Why would they leave this out in the open for everyone to see? <laughs> Anyone can sneak in and grab it! Grab it! It must be mine! And then the flying monkey comes and he says, If you're trying to sneak around, you should have been a little bit more quiet. It's like, ha ha ha, you fool! No one hit me! And the monkey picks him up and flies him off to Big B. And he says, Big B, I caught this little gentleman here. He was trying to steal from us. He was trying to steal the barley corn. Big B's like, Oh, I've heard about this. I heard you were coming to age. <sighs> Well, you had your one shot. You're going to go back to the farm where you belong. We won't punish you for that. Little Pius is like, you fool! I'll come back. I'll come back with a full army and we'll all steal it. And he's like, no, you won't. Because you don't want to be truly punished. So just go back to the farm and we'll call it square. You fool! <laughs> and then... The monkey takes him away, and he's sent back to the farm. And then you have Flycatcher, who's kind of eavesdropping on the whole situation. And he says, you know, Big B, you kind of always give me demerits for eating flies. And Big B says, yeah, what's your point? Fly says, well, I... <sighs> I don't understand. Stealing magic things is a true horrible offense, and that that lily pushing guy got off with without a hitch. What? Why? And Bigby says, "Well, it's kind of a coming of age thing. Once these lily pushing boys become lily pushing men, they go off on their pilgrimage to steal." some of the barley corn. Fly's like, why? Bigby says, well, it kind of goes back to their past. They had gathered all these men and they were going off to explore and they get to this island. And on this island, there was a giant. The giant was there because he says, you know, I heard you were coming. I knew that there was only going to be a s so few of you here. So I thought I would be here to trample you all single-handedly. The Lilliputians get there and their boat is destroyed. And they're all just kind of standing around like, well, what the fuck are we going to do now? We can't go back home to all of our women. We might as well set up shop here. And all of the Lilliputian men start up a small little town on this island. Problem being is that this army that came over of Lilliputian men was only men. There were no women that came with them. And so they were like, what the fuck are we going to do? And then the adversary attacks the Fable lands, and everyone runs away. The Lilliputians still don't have any women. Thumbelina comes over from the Fable world, and they put Thumbelina with the Lilliputian men. And all of the Lilliputian men are like, Ooh, a woman! A woman! A real woman! It's not a doll, a Barbie doll, or anything. It's a real woman, and it's our size. Oh my god. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? If you thought having a town that was just full of men with no women was a problem, well, now you have a town that has one woman. And it's an even bigger problem. So they keep on asking Thumbelina how she came to be. And she says, well, I was grown from a pot of barley corn. The Lilliputians are like, that's it? We will go and we will get this magic barley cone. And then we will come back and we will have it. And we will have women. They send a Lilliputian and a hawk to go retrieve the barley corn. And all the lily patients are kind of walking around town like, is he back yet? That one woman is just looking so good, and I wish we had another. He doesn't come back for a while. 
And so it gets to this point where he hasn't come back in so long that they declare him and the Hawk dead. And they're like, oh, crap, <laughs> right? But what actually happened was it was him and the Hawk and they were going off trying to find the corn, but it was all hidden away because the adversary had it hidden. So they get to this one area and where they believe he has all the magic hidden and they meet a cricket named Mustard Pete. And Mustard Pete's like, hey-hoo, I'm Jiminy Cricket. No, I'm not. I'm Mustard Pete, but I'm Jiminy Cricket. I can tell you exactly where all the barley corn is. Why don't you come with me? So they come with him, and they go to this area that has a bear looking over the entire thing. And the bear just kind of looks at him and is like, Are you here to steal everything from me? I wouldn't mind if you were. I would be able to stop doing this. I hate doing this. And the Lilliputian and the hawk are like, No, we're just here to steal. Take this one thing. Just just this one thing. And the bear is like, well, I could possibly help you with that. Would you like me to help you with that? And they're like, yes, please. So the bear hits him the barley corn. And then he says, I will take you back. Uh, because the hawk can't carry the big thing of barley corn. And he says, all you have to do is let your hawk give me his wings. And so they allow that. And the bear has the hawk's wings, picks up the Lilliputian, picks up the thing of barley corn, flies away with the barley corn. And the Lilliputian. <laughs> and the hawk. The wingless hawk. And Jiminy Cricket. I mean, Mustard Pete. And they get back to the Lilliputian village and they're like, Oh my god, you made it! And you brought the barley corn, you brought women for us. Oh my god, please the Lord. And they grow the barley corn and they grow the women and they all come out of their petals all naked and stuff. And it's just like, oh yes, women. The Lilliputian town rejoices. You had this sort of wrap-up session. It's like, you know, the bear didn't like being at the farm, so he went back to... He, he went to the city where he had put, glamour put on, and now he's a human. And then you go back to Big B and Fly, and Fly's like, yeah, that's great, all, but, but why? Why do all these little Lilliputian people do this? And Big B says, well, it's just kind of a rite of passage. And, well, when it comes to a rite of passage, I can't exactly call the kid wrong for doing it. And Fly says, you know, Big B, you're a better guy than most people say you are. Big B just kind of gives him a look, and he's like, I mean, um, I have stuff to go sweep. <laughs> he walks away. And that's pretty much where the issue ends. And again, I'm frustrated because we got left at that massive cliffhanger, and we got this, like, standalone story that felt out of nowhere. Maybe that bear will come back, and I will be able to tell you his real name. I don't know. We'll find out in further issues. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and click the subscribe button. If you like this video specifically, go ahead and click that like button. And go ahead and leave a comment letting me know your favorite standalone story in a series. I've been Elliot the Purple Air Diffus. This has been Buddy Reads reminding you to watch your Jam Radius. And I will see you all in the next issue of Fables by Bill Willingham. Toodles! <laughs>